Teal is having its moment, That's guys. a quote. That's a quote. <laughs> Teal is having its moment, everybody. <laughs> Someone out there's name has got to be Mike. So cool for you and for your parents for naming you that. All right, no more shenanigans here. According to her IMDb page, my guest is the youngest in her family and her older brother's name is Paris. Yeah, like the country. But more importantly, she's one of the stars of the NBC cult phenomenon, but also just normal phenomenon. Community, please welcome Yvette Nicole Brown. Hey, everybody. Woohoo! I need to make sure they know that the teal is having this moment was my quote, Grace. Oh, it's her quote. I stole it. She kind of stole it. She was I upset do. that I jumped in and got in on it. Yeah, it's what the internet does best is people stealing other people's <laughs> ideas. We just can't help ourselves. Hi, Grace. Thank you so much for being here my with us. My pleasure. My uh, pleasure. She's been on a whirlwind tour of New York City, and we're her last stop. Save the best for last, everybody. Yay! Yeah. Toys, 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 toys. We offer so many things for adults here. It's that's really true. wonderful. That's true. Uh, now, that's going to help me with MFCFLTS, my favorite comment from last Thursday's show, which comes from... Da, 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 Super Gerard Four. He left what seems to be an international phone number, and we thought that if he left it, we will call it. We're gonna call so it. we're gonna call it right now. Hit it, guys! Hit that phone machine. Make oh, it happen. Those who pray start to pray right now. Oh my gosh, I'm, a, I'm so nervous. I'm really nervous too. Okay. Oh God. Super Gerard Four. Hello. 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 Hello? Is this Gerard? Uh, bonjour, is this Gerard? Si. Uh, que? Uh, uh, s'il vous plaît. Hello? What? Uh, me scusi, pasta. The Florence, Florence and the machine. Comprende? No capisco. No capisco. 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 Vaffanapoli. Ravioli? <laughs> oh, buongiorno. Oh, wow. That, I don't know how to feel about that. I, I kind of feel like someone did that to him. I feel like we might have... Um, Started forced ourselves upon him and possibly, yeah, started some sort of international I don't, conflict. I now. felt like in the midst of that, I felt like an ex girlfriend or some spurned lover did that to him. Yeah. But you said it's all over YouTube, right? Yeah, see, this is why we didn't feel bad. We Googled this phone number before we did this, and it turns out that he has left this phone number Someone. on a lot of maybe a woman with a very masculine sounding voice. <laughs> uh, he's left this phone number on a lot of YouTube clips. Yes. And I was nervous because we were going to put the whole number, and I told Grace, maybe not. I used to be legal no. secretary. Yeah, she she schooled I, us on the legality so of the we blurred. situation. We blurred. Out of our respect to what was a very conversational human <laughs> being. <laughs> well, um, thank you, uh, Super Gerard, for I don't know how super you are, but you <laughs> had a voice that said words. <laughs> Anyway, now it's time to talk to the rest of you, Internet. We are going to answer some of your questions that you have sent to us through YouTube and Twitter. So let's start off right now with let's one of those questions. Do it. What do we have on the Twitter? The Twitter. This is from On the Cheap Tip. What does the vet recommend to help Grace get over her sickness? Yeah, I've been sick for the past couple days. I will say this, Grace. Yes. I'm not a doctor, mm -hmm. but She's I a believe legal I'm a legal secretary by trade. Yeah. I believe Alka Seltzer cold. Us oh. gets it done. Now, let me explain. The okay. fizziness gets the medicine to you quicker. It's been tested. Really? It has. Is that like how they say if you drink beer through a straw, it gets you drunker faster? I believe that that may be true as well, but okay. I want you to chug this. I want you to get a glass of water and put a couple of the pop-pop fizz-fizz pop, in. That we can the, get? Cold, the cold kind, though. It's not just any alka Oh, okay. And you'll be feeling better. Really? That's yes. it? That's it. I've been doing um, uh, emergencies. Sweetie, those are preventative. I know. I figured that out today <laughs> as to why they weren't helping me get better. Back to the Twitter. <laughs> Let's take another Twitter question. 
This is from Natalie oh. Carceres. Is October 19th going to come soon? Hi, uh, Natalie. Okay, maybe you should explain this for anyone yes. out there that doesn't necessarily know the situation. We at Community did a video because we were supposed to premiere on October 19th, which is also Gillian's birthday, and mm -hmm. we did not premiere. Happy birthday. Happy belated, Gillian, yeah. who plays Brita. Uh, we did not uh, premiere as we were supposed to, or as we thought we would, and so we did a video to the fans saying that whenever we premiere, that day will be October 19th, ni October 19th, is in your heart. Exactly. So, um, I don't know when October 19th is going to be. But it'll be a surprise. It'll be a surprise, That's everybody. what makes it really fun. Isn't it exciting? Is that something to look forward to? It's a surprise. It's like getting your period every month. When does it happen? I don't know. It's a surprise. I put mine into my calendar, honey. I know oh. when mine's coming. I'm not doing a lot of adult things very You're well in my not. life. You're not. The emergency so. and now this. Yeah, I'm working on it. You're helping me a lot today. I'm glad, Punkin. <laughs> I believe in you. Let's take a comment. This is from Jim Did R. I don't understand Capisco. All I learned from two weeks in Italy three years ago, not counting pizza and cappuccino. Oh, so oh, he that's was what it saying. Meant. He's I don't understand. Ah, and I we, said mi scusi, which I, means um, excuse me. And I said ravioli, which means delicious dinner. Yes, exactly. So he should have understood. What he didn't understand about that is confusing Yanni. to me. He needs some help in his understandings of his own language. Let's take another comment. This is from Humans versus Robots. Can we get Grace on an episode of Community? I'd like that very much. Oh, I'd like that very much, but that's huh. not up to either one of us that's here. That's so true. I was thinking, <laughs> can we get that question to some writers on Community and yeah, producers? Yeah, so if you know any of their email addresses, just send that away. But You'd thank be great you. On community. Yeah, I could be, um, I can be the, uh, any kind of stalker I'm very good at being. <laughs> I can be the girl that's sick a lot. Wow. Uh, I can be the girl that's like kind of a latchkey kid, didn't know how to like raise herself. So, <laughs> a lot, of, a lot of options, choices. community writer. She's really writing it for you. Yeah, all of that. I can be the fake Italian exchange student. <laughs> all of it, right there. Let's take another Twitter question. <laughs> this is from Berica J. How's it going? I was wondering who of the cast of Community relates to their character outside of the show. Oh, that's a good mm. question. Um, probably me. Well, I you see it how many children do you have? I have none, and I'm not married, <laughs> and I don't talk like Shirley. As you can see, this is my regular voice. Um, I I relate to her. I understand her desire to always try to do the right thing. She messes I mean, up, but she nurturing. tries. She's nurturing and loving, and I yeah. am. I'm taking care of you yeah. today. Um, so maybe me. Uh, Maybe no one else is really like their character, I would say. That means that they're all very good all actors. Very, except for me. <laughs> except <laughs> No, she just lives there it. There it is. There it is. No, she's, been, she's so method that she's convinced herself <laughs> that her life is now like her now character. Now like my character. <laughs> Single woman, yes. That's interesting. Twitter. Let's take a Twitter question. This is from Radio Bomb. Is there anything you can tell community fans about this upcoming season? Hi, Kate. Ooh, I know. Any buzzwords you can drop? Um, it's, uh, most of this you probably already heard. Um, because the internet, we found out, knows everything about the show before the people on the show Twitter know about the show. Twitter knows more about community than I do. So. But you have a very active Twitter, which is I helpful. do, but that's how I find out stuff, because I know everyone finds out before me. Like, that's I just found sweet. out that we're up for a People's Choice Award. Which, Congratulations! Well, uh, well, no, okay, that, wait, never mind. I said that wrong, Grace. Oh. That was on me. That uh, was like, did you just say that, Yvette? We're up to be nominated. For, which is, for wait. us, for community, calm down. For community, that's like an award. To be up for a nomination? I didn't even know that that was a thing. It just means that, that you can be nominated means... to maybe be nominated. <laughs> I think no, that's what it means. you made the first round. Well, there's more. There's like 12,000 rounds, I think, for People's Choice Awards. It's uh, not just like the first one. So, But the people have chosen you guys again and again. You're yeah. a fan favorite. Oh, it's well. really that's true. That's true. Well, that's nice. And I forgot what the original question was. Oh, from the season four. Any sort oh, of... Oh, uh, uh, Troy and Britta, um, they're possibly maybe something there that we, you know... Um, and we're gonna go to maybe a haunted house. Oh my god, I know that game. Oh, There's man. something coming, you guys. Yeah. You're gonna oh. like it a lot. Speaking of Halloween. Speaking of Let's Halloween. take another Twitter question, shall we? This is from Space Time Bomb. Not a question, but Yvette, there it is. ask all the human beings to vote for Community in the People's Choice Award. Right. So Can wait, how do they do? Me? Yeah. Yes. Somebody tweet me and let me know what I, if I'm right or wrong. Are we up for an award or are we in the... So right maybe, okay, be. I assume, and you know what happens you assume, but I'm going to do it anyway, that there's probably a website that you go to to vote for who you want to be on the award show nominated. Okay, so I think that's the link I saw. So I just don't know if it's, if you're voting for the award or if you're voting for us to be considered for that, that viewer's choice 
award. You guys, choice. you guys are very good at figuring this yeah, stuff out. Yeah, figure this out for me. I've been doing press for five days. I'm tired. Two days. I'm tired. Yeah, help her out. Figure help it me. out and get them nominated. Yeah. Get them at least to the second round. Yeah, don't let us be first rounders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like that guy who's doing every job audition that you're like job audition I interview. I know. Both. She's sick. I'm tired. It's just clean. we're just sick and tired. We're sick and tired. <laughs> That's the name of our show. Sick, Sick and, and tired. tired. Oh, someone develop it someone for us. Someone develop it for us. <laughs> Let's okay. take another comment. This is from Allison Morton. What does the name Yvette mean? There's some sort of meaning, right? If not, make one up, smiley face. You know what? I think Yvette means um, the archer. I know my name means, there's two things. It's either Yvette or Katniss. Nicole. One of them means the archer, and one of them means victory of the people. I think Nicole Ooh. is victory of the people, so I think Yvette is the archer. I've never understood what that, how that... What I so do with that. you are Katniss Everdeen. <gasps> Victory of the people. Yeah. Katniss Everdeen. You are. We just figured out your Halloween I'm costume. Katniss Everdeen, everybody. Oh my God, you That's were awesome. Born. Yeah, you're the girl on fire. I'm an archer and I'm the Victory of the people. Duh. It's been sitting in front of you all along. My, whole, my destiny has been revealed on my damn channel. I yeah. love it. Let's take another Twitter question. This is from Mattman one k What is the greatest piece of advice you have ever given? Ever given? Oh, is this for both of us? I guess so. You go first. I think the greatest piece of advice that I have ever given is that you should always be having fun mm -hmm. with whatever you're doing. Because if you're doing either a job or you're... Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, that's how much fun I was having. How did you hurt yourself? <laughs> I don't this know. Table? It's, it's something is haunted about this Sick, theater already. Sick, injured, and tired. Um, if if you're in a relationship or if you're in a job or something that you're not having fun in, you should not be should in not that be job in or relationship Agreed. or anything. You should be searching for what it is that you really enjoy and have fun doing. I will receive that advice. The best advice I think I've ever given is something that I learned in my life, and that's to find the thing that's unique about you and that will be the thing that you your destiny is tied to. I was talking about this with Anderson the other day. A lot of people feel like, oh, I have a big forehead, I'm, I have buck teeth, or I, 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 I'm shy. Whatever you think your thing is that says you can't do it, nine times out of 10, that's the thing that will make you great and yeah. make you stand out. So instead of trying to hide who you are and become what the masses think you should be, let your freak flag fly and just be gloriously you with a big forehead, buck teeth, and, you know, whatever yeah. it is. Let it go and be that person, and you that's know, where your success will come from. Yeah, you know Padma Lachke's doing that. she got that scar on her arm, and she just shows it, and I love it. I love it. I love her for it. Let's take another comment. This is from <laughs> Gooner G123. Grace got a Halloween costume for you. Dressed as a jar of honey draped in a duvet. Cut out eye holes. What are you? Honey Boo Boo. Oh, I get it. We, it was a long walk. It was a long we got walk there. to that one, boy. We had to pack a lunch for that one. We got there, <laughs> though. The whole point is you got there. Yeah, and I asked Steve that before if she's being something for Halloween and you're not really celebrating I'm not, Halloween. I'm not celebrating, celebrating Halloween because my, most of my life I lived in an apartment, so we weren't used yeah. to giving out candy. And then also I lived in the inner city, so it really was not safe. It's not about. Where are you from? I'm from East Cleveland. Oh. It's not about razor blades and apples, it's gunplay. So oh. we had to retreat for that reason. And then now that I'm older, it's like, you know, I'm tired. Yeah. I'm tired of the sick and, and you're, tired. And you I dress just, up every day for work. I do. I don't uh, want to put on makeup and exactly. a girdle and go out in the world. Exactly. I was a girdle hear part you. of Halloween. What did I just say? Uh, Why are you wearing girl? a girdle on Halloween? <laughs> it's your choice. You let that freak flag fly. Let that freak flag if girdles are your thing, you make it your thing. <laughs> Let's take another comment. <laughs> this is from AJ uh, Sharma. Hi, AJ. Yvette, do you pull a lot of pranks on set? I do not pull any pranks on set because I believe in, in uh, it coming Karma? back to you. Karma's yeah. real. Um, Donald Glover pulls a lot of pranks. I can believe uh, that. And it usually involves his own nudity. Donald, oh. will, Donald will pull his pants down at the drop of... I've seen <laughs> his bare ass probably more times than I've seen my own. I haven't seen my own in years. <laughs> I've seen Donald's at least twice a week. Um, so Donald pulls a lot of pranks and uh, Joel McHale. And one thing Joel does is this. Oh, no, Isn't that's that, not a that's fun not thing. That's not fun. You're that's literally in the middle of an interview. Thing. I'm sorry. She, he goes right into your pit. And he's 12,000 feet tall, so yeah. it comes... It gets, it it gets comes in from there. A place. It gets in there. And you know, that's a, this a set, that's a delicate, that's a private region. Yeah, exactly. Put anybody in my pit. You and what if you're a little moist in there? Oh, yeah, it's happening. But that's what I'm saying. And then you get a little finger. Oh, yeah, you forget that this I'm is an awkward place. Out, so it's really, a, it's more private than and, my boobs. Yeah. I would rather you go into my boobs than go under my pit. You heard it here first. <laughs>
That's not an invitation to anyone. I'm just saying on the range of things I hate, that's the order. Okay, <laughs> let's take another comment. This is from Hen Er Zero. Oh. Will we be seeing Helen Dubois in any other Nickelodeon program? Is oh, I love how he wrote that whole thing. Yeah, um, I am in love and beholden to Dan Schneider, who created a thousand shows on Nickelodeon, but also yeah. Drake and Josh, which I used to do. So anytime he asks me to come back, asks me to come back and be Helen, I will do it. And that's I, the movie theater manager. Yes, yeah. I, I did Helen for four years on Drake and Josh. I, I did one episode of Victorious. Wanted to do more, but it just didn't work out. And then I also did a cameo in iCarly. There's one what? scene in iCarly where she's at a, in an art art class, uh -huh. and I'm uncredited. I have no lines. I'm just randomly sitting. Find in it. A, now randomly go find sitting it. in the art class. It's probably from the first or second season. That's and that's because so I just I love them and I kind of stalk. Just a little Easter egg. Yeah, I kind of stalk the set. So they'll throw, <laughs> if I'm there and I got makeup on, they'll throw me in. So I would love that. That, that would be very Have happy. you ever worked in a movie theater in real life? I have not. I used to work at a video store, oh. but never a movie theater. Okay, that's kind of. Vidstar Video uh, in Ohio, uh, Blockbuster said no, no more. Really, and they Blockbuster went, they went put bye bye. And I remember the owner of Vidstar. It was like in the late '80s, wherever she came in and she was like, um, you know, there's a new thing coming. It's it's going it to say it's going to sweep the nation, and I don't know how long we're all going to have jobs. <laughs> That it's sounds, okay. Yeah, Good stars, no more. That sounds like uh, Independence Day. There's something <laughs> coming, and it's going to sweep our nation. It's going to kill us. Uh, let's take another comment. This is from Sean Kalinowski. Hi, Beth. I love you. Close. And for Beth, I was wondering if we can be expecting another paintball episode. Love community. You're awesome. Well, well, Beth is going to be here tomorrow well, for the show. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> thank yeah. you, Steph. Thanks, Steve. Her name is Grace. <laughs> anyway, um, I, God bless you. That was, you know. The paintball episode was great. You know what? I, I don't know if there's going to be another paintball. I do know that shooting paintball is very grueling for everyone involved, from props to set design to us and the right. It's, it's really like a, a marathon. Yeah. So um, I feel like Dan Harmon, like, put, he put his mark on that in a way that it's kind of, I think it's a done. It's a trilogy. There's yeah. three of them. I think each of them are solid and stand, great standalone episodes. So I'd be okay if the, the one last year with Star Wars was the end. Yeah. I mean, or two I years mean, ago, two years ago? Yeah, it was the end, but we, you know, you never know. Yeah, you know what happened when they kept adding more Star Wars episodes? Jar Jar Banks. You guys want a Jar Jar Banks on your hands? He's a friend of mine. I like Jar Jar. <laughs> I love Jar Jar Banks. I call these guys the Gungan Army all the time. All right. You know what? I, you just gained points with me. Oh, really? I'm a Star Wars person too, honey. I'm like sort of Star Wars. I'm kind of a fake Star Wars fan. Really? You impressed but I, me with that. Oh, okay. That's my only... <gasps> don't ask me anything else. <laughs> Let's leave it that you have that image of me right now. <laughs> Let's take another comment. This is from 23Cookies007. What's Shirley's favorite Halloween costume? Um, my favorite costume as Shirley... Well, actually, my favorite costume is this year. Uh -huh. But I can't tell you what that is because the episode Ooh. hasn't aired and, you know, it might be Valentine's Day when you see it. So I don't want to spoil <laughs> you guys. Um, but I really love the year that she was um, Miss Piggy or... Uh, uh, Glenda the Good Witch. Oh. She only thought she was Glenda. Everyone else told her that she was Miss Piggy. It's just the nerve. That, but that little busty pink in the blonde wig, it was pink dress and blonde wig. It was really cool. Oh, that's so great. You're living every girl's little girl's fantasy. Oh, how sweet. Yeah. Shall we take another comment? Maybe one more for good uh, for good measure? This is from Glow Sticker 06. Yvette, what's your favorite community episode? Ooh, that must be hard. You know, yeah, I have so many to choose that I like. I really love um, the Law & Order episode because I'm a uh, Law & Order geek. Yeah. So I love that one. And, um, I mean, paintball. I mean, yeah. come on. And then we have a flashback episode in the first... The first flashback episode I really love. Now, do you guys get any say? See, in, I burped like, a little bit. I had a okay. little burp I that I tried not to keep from you guys, but I feel like we're close enough. I shouldn't hide these things. It's the internet. So you that was a burp. You let that freak flag fly. Let that freak flag fly. Um, do you guys have any say in like themes of episodes at all? I didn't think we did, but um, I something's coming up. I hear that's something I've been asking for. <gasps> so I can't say what it is, but if you go back and like the last couple of interviews we did as a group, and they asked me what I what I really wanted yeah. to happen on the show, it may be happening, but I won't confirm which it is. But Ooh. if that happens, and you know, Malcolm Jamal Warner plays my husband, Theo from Cosby Show yeah. plays my husband on the show, and that is something that I asked for in the first season, and it happened in this, the second or third. So. Oh dreams do God. come true. Keep ask, dreaming, kiddos. Ask and you shall receive. What do I want? I want Pat Sajak to be my fake husband on Madam Channel Live. Is that what you want? Yes, really? very much so. I've thought it through on a daily basis. Let's take another Twitter question. Ryan Gosling is available for you to wish <laughs> oh, for. Yeah. And nothing against Pat. He's great, but I just think you should... 
Aim higher. <laughs> Let's take a Twitter question. It's from Idiot with Curls. Oh, don't be so self-deprecating. Describe your character, Shirley, in three words. Go. Uh, loving, uh -huh. uh, faithful, and crazy. Ooh. She's always crazy. She's yeah. a mess. She's kind of great, though. Yeah, that makes her great. so relatable like her. and human. I like her. Oh, uh, we all like her, too. And I like that you were on the show with me oh, today. Honey. It was so fun. Why Thank do you so we much rap? Why? Why? Are we rapping? We were on a roll. Um, anyway, thank you so much for being here. Thanks, I know that you have a plane to catch. And make sure that everyone goes and follows Yvette on her Twitter, which is, is Yvette there? N. Brown. There boom, I boom, am. Boom. There I am. And make sure that you guys tune in tomorrow. It's going to be a very special Halloween episode here on My Damn Channel Live. Myself, Hannah Hart, Tyler Oakley, and Beth Hoyt all here. It's going to be so great. You can check me out every other day of the week at mydamchannel.com slash Thank you so much for thank being you, here sweetie. again. Tell Beth I said hi. Bye.